You ever wanted to chainsaw carve a lion's head? Well, here's a full how-to video on it. Let's carve together. Thank you. Chad Sexton here, Sexton Chainsaw Carver. It's coming back with you on how-to video. We're gonna try to turn this little pine log right here into a uh, lion's head with a mane coming down, sitting on a pedestal. Hope everybody's doing good today, staying safe. Everybody, you know, I know we're kind of locked down, so, you know, just trying to provide a little entertainment for everybody. All right, here we're gonna do our first cut. Right here, this is gonna be right at the front of the ears. Cut that little section right there off. That's it. Come back in just a little deeper. That way my cut matches up. That right there, that way we have the top of the mane and the ears. We'll come in right here, start shaping our ears out. And rounding our ears out. That little piece off. Round our ears out. Right there, I'm just going to take that little section of wood out right between the ears, kind of give it just a little bit of depth. That way, you still got that mane, that mane up high in the back, right there on the back of the head. Take a nose, kind of nose that little piece out. Make it nice and smooth. Shaping them up just a little bit, but trying to be safe with it. But just a little separation between that mane and the ears. That's all I'm doing right there. Little separations, all it is. There we go. Coming back right here. Just going to shave down on each side, just trying to get the basic shape of the face. On the mug right there with the eyes and the and the nose are in the mouth. Start out taking small chunks off and then we'll work our way in. Like I say, there's one thing about carving. You take off too much and you can't put it back on. So, there it is, just keep shaving it down, trying to get us a nice little shape. Nice shape on the head. Knocking little chunks off. There it is. Trying to provide a couple of different angles for it. And we're gonna come down from the eyes. There be where his eyes at. And you'll notice later on I try to make sure that I stay center on the uh, core of the log. I like to use the wood grain for to make the eyes where they look pretty good. Now I'm just shaving in, just trying to get that pointed shape just a little further. Where that narrows down from the front of the head to the to the nose. Just shaving on down just slightly. Getting that little angle in there. Knocking them little chunks off. And staying at it, just take your time. You ain't in no hurry. There it is. Got the eyes, now I'm on nose out. Take that nose, kind of get that little bit of wood out between the eyes. Nose him out just a little bit. Keep shaving it down just a little bit more. A little bit more. Get a little harder angle right there. Well, I get a little better detail on him. Shave him down. Knock all that little bit off right there. Keep shaving him down. Keep working your way around. Taking your time, taking your time. Now we're gonna drop down to the bottom of the ears. Get that little piece out right there. Right 
Do the same on this side, get that little piece out. This is all done with the CS400 Echo Chainsaw. Got a 14 inch Oregon bar, standard bar. Bought it at Lowe's. Oh, it's not a, it's not a carving chainsaw by any means at all. Getting just a little bit of coming back where that mane looks like it's rounded around the head, where it's flowing back off the top of the head right there and going down. Starting to get that little bit of flow, doing a little, putting his nose on him, getting in good shape for the nose. Right there, stand back and look at it. Make sure you're staying straight. With your nose, putting your mouth on him. Here we go. Just drop it down a little deeper. Drop him down where you got a little more, where you get down to the mouth. We got our, just take any time. You got your basic shape in there. Just keep working off that. Round his ears out a little more. Look at he had some pointed ears. Just round them out. Keep taking your time. There it is. Just keep making sure everything's kind of straight, symmetrical, best you can. Working the way around. There it is. Take that little chunk out right there. Take this little chunk out right here. Oh, yeah. Put them cheeks on him. Put them big old jaws on him. Keep working our way around. There it is. Knock that chunk out. Come over here the same. Do the same on the other side. Say you putting them cheeks on him. Right there. Curving them little cheeks out. That's it. Just staying with it, taking the time. Lots of little cuts on these. Best to take your time. Man. Can't do no major. Just smacking no major chunk of wood off. You got to really take your time. It's all. Oh, very, very right there's bottom jaw. I'm gonna kind of curve right around, get the bottom jaw on him. Now we start shaving all that little extra wood out, cutting it out of the way, getting all that gone. And the same on, same on both sides. Just take that wood away. There it is. We about got a little basic, basic rough shape on him. Curve that bottom lip, that top lip, that's what that'd be. Get him, get him right, bring that top lip back. Yeah, yeah, just shaving a little wood off. Now we're going to do the separation right there, separated from that log. Get back. I'll start on the up cut right there. That way his mane, that way you got his mane running down. There. there it is. Same on this side. Hope everybody's doing good today. Everybody's staying, staying healthy. Just trying to provide a little entertainment. Trying to do something a little different. Everybody's seen a Seen my gnomes and my wood spirits. Everybody's seen the tree, so I just thought, well, I'll try this. Do something a little different. And a basic shape cut out right there. And the head roughed out. Starting to rough his mane out right now. Doing these cuts right down through here. Kind of get that pointed mane coming down, down the bottom of his, there to his chest, I guess. Just keep working your way around. Rounding it out. Just keep rounding it out. Making it try to look look smooth and symmetrical. A little better angle. Take them pieces off right there. Mm. 
Okay, no. Now we kind of got him sitting down in there. There he is. Fast forward a little bit. Make a few more cuts, just kind of shaving him down. Now we're, all we're doing is just smoothing it up. Just going around, cutting all them little rough rough edges off. Making sure it looks kind of got a nice little flow to it. Make him sit down in there a little deeper. Keep working your way down in there. You're shaving off just a little bit of wood at a time. Just a little bit. Keep going there, see it. Come back to this side, do the same thing. Shave that piece off. That's all we're doing. Just working our way around and making sure he's staying all symmetrical. Looking good. There it is. Now he's, now he's starting to come up out of that wood. Just a little bit. Keep rounding him out. There it is. Just round his mane out. Make it look pretty. Have a nice little flow to it. Everything needs to flow, I guess. Best way I can say it. Have a nice flow to it. Back on the back. Kind of rounding him out. Get all that bark off the back. The back of his head kind of curves in there. Now all I'm doing is just separating that top lip and that bottom jaws. All that really, that, all them cuts was right there. Round his ears out a little more. It ain't so big. Just, just stay in fine details. Let's see it round the back, that top of that mane right there, round it off. Make sure you got a nice little flow going down to the back. There we go. This right here is where I'm going to start running that pedestal. Start cutting it out. I turn it where you can see. There you go. It's coming off the back of its mane right there. Run that, run that saw all the way down, trying to get it flat where you got that little pedestal style base on the bottom of him. Cut that little chunk out. And back over here, do the same right here. Kind of kick it in, take that little chunk of wood off, run it all the way down. Curving that saw. There it is. You can see I'm kind of curving that saw, going start in at a pretty good angle, then curved it and straighten it, straighten it up on that pedestal. Go down, try to match them up best I can. Take that chunk off. There you go, matching them up. Around to this side. Right there. Making him sit down in there a little better. There you go. Now he popped up out of there just a little bit. There it is. Do a little more on that side. Go straight down. Continue on with our pedestal. Making our pedestal. You know, kind of square, I guess. Not quite really, but just trying to have that little box shape to him anyway. There it is. Trying to get both sides leveled up where they look nice and pretty. Symmetrical. There it is. Do this side of the pedestal, shave him all the way down. And even him up at the bottom and knock that piece off. There it is. I'm gonna come right here in the front that point on the main and we're gonna come right just a little bit up under that main do a little forward cut plunge cut that way his main kind of pokes out in the front just a little bit work our way around there it is there it is we're just working we're working our way around starting to put the little details on make sure now, uh, now this is where we're going to, I just go in about the chain depths, all I go in, just start running little, little wavy lines, trying to put that little, little bit of design, like the, like the fur or hair, or whatever you want to call it, flowing. Start out and then just keep going all the way around, keep trying to have a nice little flow down. I like these line carvings. I was born in July. I'm a Leo, so I, I guess I'm partial to a lion more than, more than I would be in any other animal, I guess. There it 
Just keep putting lines in there, putting that little flow in its mane. Make it look like it's alive. Got to him, got the ones on the back, on the top of his head right there. Now I'm just taking the nose of that saw, working on his eye sockets right there. Like I said, this goes back to, at the beginning of the video when I was talking about trying to have the, uh, make sure you stay centered. You know, you always stay centered on the core of the log. And it, it really comes out pretty good. You can see it when I do a walk around on this one. The, uh, making the eyes. You can use that wood grain to make the eyes. Now all we're doing is the same thing we did on the eyes. We're just taking the nose of that saw and just, just cupping them ears in a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Just cupping them. There you go. Just putting the ears on them just a little bit. Now we got our grinder. That's a four and a half inch angle grinder with a 36 grit grinding disc. We're going to come back and just do a little work on it. Smooth him down best we can. Get his old head smooth. Get his mouth. Get his cheeks right there. Up under his chin. Get all that smoothed down. You can see right there a little bit where that eye, where I made that wood grain meet that eye. Just smoothing it down is all we're doing. Just staying at it and running him up. Make sure his nose is nice, nice and good. Working on his ears. Take round them off. Here we are on the pedestal. We're getting him round. Oh, I apologize. Getting rounded, you know, making the pedestal, smoothing it out, all the rough cuts, splinters. Just staying grinding. Now we're running down through that run all, all the way down through that way. You ain't got no splinters in there. Keep all them little, where it makes it look like the main, you know, the hair on the main. Just run all down through that run. The ones in the front, ones in the back. Smooth them down real good. Get that rounded effect. Try to make that carving come alive if you can. Just keep working your way around, do every one of them. All them splinters off. There you go. Looks like I'm happy with it. We're going to take and dust him off right now. Dust him off real good. Now, got him dusted off. This is a uh, wood sealer, wood grain enhancer, and a waterproofer. You can start to see that wood grain start coming out real, real nice right there on top of his head. Well, that's it, folks. We got him coated. We got him sanded. We got him chalk carved up, sanded, and coated. You can see right there, that's a real good view of that eye. Take that wood grain. Make him eyes right there. And this is all done with a basic chainsaw and angle grinder. No special carving tools, no special carving bars. Just them two tools all I use, folks. Kind of got that nice flow in the back. Coming down to his mane. There's that other eye. Like he's looking at you. That wood's wood staring at you. You can see the top of it where that core is right there in the middle of his forehead. That's what you want to try to keep. Make sure that that core in the front, wood grain in there, you can see the core coming all the way through. You know, just trying to show that wood a little bit of love, a little respect. There's his mouth. Got the man coming to a point, got his own pedestal, got him sealed up. But I hope everybody stays safe, everybody does good. Well, all right. Just want to say thank y'all for watching. Chad Sexton, Sexton Chainsaw Carvings. Hope everybody stays safe and we get through this together, y'all. Just trying to provide a little bit of entertainment. And as always, let's carve together. Thank you.